Welcome in the fourth section of our course. In this section we'll be learning how to tweak garbage collection process and we'll be using also Java Flight Recorder, JFR for short. So let's see what we'll learn in this section. First thing that we'll do is to do an explanation of regions in CMS Garbage Collector. Next thing that we'll be doing is leveraging improvements in G1. First video will be about examining memory leak problems. So we'll be finding that memory problems using Java Flight Recorder will start flight recording and we'll try to capture that information in Java Flight Recorder file. Finally, we'll be fixing memory leak problem and we'll be reducing memory pressure of our application. We'll be doing it using different approaches. This is the first video in which we'll be doing explanation of regions in CMS Garbage Collector. So first question that we'll answer is how Java memory is aligned. This is very important to understand. Next thing will be to understanding what a CMS is and finally we'll understand how does this garbage collection is working. So let's go to the first topic that is crucial to understand how Java is working. So we'll see how Java memory is aligned and this is about every garbage collector besides G1. So everything else, if you will pick different garbage collector, will use this memory alignment. So in Java we have memory that is separated in different spaces. So we have young generation and old generation. Those are most important and also we have a permanent. But let's at the beginning focus on the young generation. So when you are creating new object into your heap, so in your memory or if you're just allocating new object using new keyword, the object is going to the add -in space and this is our young generation. Young generation has also survivor zero and survivor one. So if there is first cycle of GC and your new created object is still referenced somewhere, the garbage collection will move that object to survivor zero. Once it will be in survivor zero, it will wait for next garbage collection process. Once next garbage collection process is in progress, that object, if there is still reference to other objects, will be moved to survivor space one. That process will repeat multiple times. So back to survivor zero, one, zero, one, and there is a threshold for that moving. So it is around 12. So if their object will be referenced and will be moved between those objects at least 12 times, it will be moved to the old generation. Old generation is a memory place area with objects that are referenced for long time. So they are not short-lived and garbage collection process in old generation is started less frequently. Old generation garbage collection is started often because most objects in Java are short-lived. That's why young generation. There is also third memory area that is called permanent generation. In this permanent generation, static things and things that are living from the start of the JBM to the end of the process are located. So everything like strings that are allocated for the first time and also static objects and so on are inside of this permanent space. So garbage collection is not going into that specific space. So let's see how concurrent mark sweep is working. So concurrent mark sweep has different phases. First phase is serial mark sweep compact collector and also is a concurrent mark sweep collector. We want to be in the right hand side of this picture. So we want to be in the concurrent. If everything is working properly, we are doing garbage collection is done in a concurrent way. So there is first step of initial mark. So marking objects that are not referenced anymore. Then it's concurrent mark. Then we have remark and concurrent sweep. Concurrent sweep is just doing cleanup of objects that are not referenced anymore in a concurrent way. But if there is some error or there is some sec fault, so if there is no way to clean up object that is accessed somewhere in a concurrent way, we need to go to the serial mode. Then there is a stop the word, pause, and it means that our application is stopping. This is one of the most important and thing that to, that to know in concurrent mark sweep. And this process is not what we want. So we want to be at the concurrent marks 